Last week, we shared the heartbreaking story of a car crash here in Smith County. In that crash, four of the passengers under the age of 16 were not wearing their seatbelt. Two of them died. May marked the 20th anniversary of our state's click it or ticket campaign, according to TxDOT. However, some people still take a ride without buckling up. You can take off by choice, you can sit by choice. Choices of practicing safety and leading by example. Kids learn by behavior, we model behavior. If we see parents wearing a seatbelt, more than likely the kiddos is gonna wear the seatbelt. On July 5th, DPS reported a fatal car crash to CBS 19. A 13 year old girl and an eight year old boy died in that crash. They were two out of the four passengers not wearing a seatbelt. These kind of deaths are preventable, and all it takes is education. Carla McKenzie with the Texas Department of State Health Services says too often kids are following the example of parents or are misinformed when it comes to proper seatbelt use. I cannot tell you how many times I have been riding around town and I see little kids, like five years old, in the front seat. Parents, you should know that under the age of 13, Everyone should be in the back seat. Under the Texas law for passenger safety, there is a four-step process when it comes to ensuring your child is properly secured. When you ride a bicycle, you have on a helmet. When you play sports, you have protection gear. When you're riding in the car, that seat belt is your protection gear. That seat belt will keep you restrained. According to NHTSA, 51% of passengers killed in car accidents were not properly buckled, a deadly 4% increase since 2019. That's why safety experts would like to emphasize making seat belt wearing the number one standard when it comes to car safety. And if mom and dad is failing to do so, you be that um, responsible adult um, and say, hey, you guys, let's put on our seatbelts.